In this video, we'll write the equation for K2SO4 plus H2O, potassium sulfate plus water. We have K, which is a metal, and then this SO4 group, this is a polyatomic ion. It's a group of nonmetals. So when we have a metal and then nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. We go to the periodic table. Potassium, that's in group one, so it has a plus one charge. Let's just put a plus up here. And then sulfate, that's our polyatomic ion, SO4. It has a two minus charge, and you find that by looking up on a table of polyatomic ions. So we'll put a two minus right there. We take solid K2SO4, and we put it in liquid water. When we do that, it dissolves. It dissolves into its ions. So we'll have K plus, and then we'll have the sulfate ion. But note we have a two after this K here. So we need to take that into account on this side of the equation so it's balanced. So we'll put a coefficient of two in front of the K plus. So now the Ks are the same on both sides of the equation. Because this is dissolved in water, we'll write AQ after each ion, which means aqueous. And aqueous means dissolved in water. Since we wrote AQ, we don't need to write liquid water, H2O, on this side of the equation. The AQ tells us that these are dissolved in water. And that makes this the equation for K2SO4 plus H2O, potassium sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.